Hey everybody, this is Brian from PMB Homesteady here to do the update for the uh, large grow tent we've got here underneath our home in the Pacific Northwest. While everything's cold outside and dying and uh, being put away to bed for winter, we've got fresh tomatoes and a lot of new growth on these herbs. Let me get the camera and bring it over here for you. So you may, you know, we've been gone, Paula and I, we were in, you know, on vacation and our son was taking care of this tent. We had a lot of automation set up to keep the tent going while we were gone. And there's been a lot of new growth. Let me you know, start over here. So the basil, it's pretty much done. Um, we've got some new growth coming on it still, but uh, all the seed heads have kind of gone up. And uh, while we weren't here to pinch them off, our son, I just told him, just kind of keep it watered and we'll harvest this off. And we're gonna probably clean this out this week. We're gonna take the trays, take all this basil off, and just cut it flat and we're gonna dehydrate it and put it into uh, containers so Paula can use it in her cooking. So we'll reseed this area with another plan, which I'll talk about in just a second. So then we can see over here, you can see the, uh, there's those little tomatoes back there. They are uh, producing quite a few. I haven't had a chance to harvest yet, but you can see them growing back there in the back. There's a few more over there by the wall. Uh, those are those little pop-up red like uh, sweet millions, I think they were, or something like that. They came off part of the compost. You'll notice there's a lot of red tomatoes down there. I harvested off the ones this weekend, kind of in that area. And quite a few throughout the whole tent. When we got back, there was a lot of ripe ones. So Paula and I had a couple of salads with that. But uh, when I move over here, you'll see what I was talking about with the tomatoes and how they have kind of just gone gangbuster nuts. This whole mass in here. Let me get the camera up here. You can see it's growing all up and through there. All over there. It's hitting the bottom of the LED lights there. And I've directed all the new growth. You know, it starts out coming up here, going up over this way. And I'm tucking it over across the tops of these tomato cages to go that direction. And there's a lot of fruit set. I mean, you can see there's some there, there's some up there, there's quite a few. I mean, you can see the red ones back in there. There's a couple of new red ones I haven't had a chance to pick off this weekend. But uh, Paula and I have had a lot of indigo rose, and especially on this little plant here, you can see there's a lot of red ones. That one there looks like he split, so I might have to take that one off after I shut the camera off, eat that for myself. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of fruit set on this guy, and he's pretty small still, which I'm pretty impressed with. I've noticed that the leaves look like they've got a little bit of sun scald. So I'm gonna probably take this LED light and move it up, you know, higher in the tent. So that way it will cause this plant to grow a little taller. You see, it's starting, if it's starting to get sun scald there, that means these lights are a little too close for it. And it's gonna kind of hamper off that new growth. So I want that to grow probably to the top of this cage. So eventually I'll have that light hanging about the same level as that light over there. So that's kind of the update on the tomatoes and the basil. And then we got our new uh, herbs. So this was the Thai basil. And you can see there's some that are kind of laggards. And I think those were getting a little too wet back there. So I kind of shut down the, the water onto that back piece. And it seems to be going really well here. And this one here was really wet when I came back from vacation. So I took the nozzle from that and I moved it back over here to this tomato plant. And then I shut the water off of that one. So I may do that same thing with this. So I was just kind of doing some testing with this Thai basil. Uh, you can see the garlic chives. They've really sprouted up. They're probably about five, six inches tall now, coming off of there. We've got the peony flat parsley, you know, growing and it looks nice. It's coming along pretty good. Uh, we've got the Caribe cilantro in those two. And that looks really nice. That one there is a little bit, you know, further behind than the one over here. So I'll have to do some investigations on maybe if the lighting you know, this light kind of spun around with all the growth of the tomatoes that kind of pushed this light sideways. So that may be causing it to not get enough light in that corner. And then we've got the, uh, the Mexican herb over here, the papado. I can't say the rest of the name on that tag because it's, uh, it's in Spanish. So any Spanish viewers, they could probably correct me and put it in the notes below there. But I just remembered the papado name. And it, uh, it has a really nice taste and it seems to be growing really well and that was the one, if you may remember, it said it had only a 50% germination rate. And I'd say I've got probably at least 80%, you know, maybe more. 
and just that one little 12 inch you know pot on there is that maybe it's 10 inch I can't remember what these are I mean they're like a they're like a three gallon or so pots I can't remember I don't remember what I did with those anyway don't want to ramble but uh, poinsettia it'll be moving upstairs in uh, another week because we're coming up on Thanksgiving and I'll probably bring that upstairs and put it as a centerpiece for our family uh, Thanksgiving dinner that we're gonna have just our kids this year and uh, it's looking really nice a lot of red a lot of red leaves on there I and mean, it looks really nice I was hoping to get these I'm hoping that I can get these maybe if I put this a little closer to this light over here that's hanging down or maybe move it closer to the basil because it's got a little higher light kind of center that I can get those to turn uh, red so that would look really nice for the holidays you can see there's they're starting to turn they're getting that pigmentation in it but uh, I don't know if it'll be ready for exactly Christmas but that's you know still a month and a half away so hopefully that'll be uh, it for the, uh, the holidays ready to go so let me set the tam camera back down and go back over and uh, close this off all right I'm using a new, I'm using our DSLR 5300. I mentioned that in the uh, mid-size grow tent update. So I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit better video quality without the glare from the fluorescent lights up here in the ceiling that we have in our storage area. And it looks, from all the indications, that it does look a lot clearer and it should produce a lot better video quality for you so you can see this uh, big furry Sasquatch beard of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and get a little little more true representation of what Paula has to live with. I mean, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Trying to keep it fun. Uh, so this has been the large indoor grow tent that we're growing our veggies in. And so I was mentioning that, uh, you know, where the basil is going to go. This week I'll probably be ordering the uh, the hanging grow media bags. That's kind of like a, I guess it's like three feet by, I don't know, five feet. And it's got like 18 individual little grow containers what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and fit one gallon pots in that that way I can shove the one gallon pots inside each one of those little things there's like three per row and then I'll just grow herbs in that and we'll have uh, a lot more selection of the cilantros and the uh, basils and stuff like that in there to where I can maximize that wall space along the side where the current basil is and then down below on the bottom of the floor we'll put some kind of trays where we grow another herb that will catch the drip irrigation from the top down to the bottom so it's going to be a whole new little grow system to keep you guys watching and it might you know it may inspire somebody else to do another type of herb to grow it in that same way for their clones in their uh, medicinal purpose herbs so it'll be interesting to see if you know any of you guys ever get inspired and want to try to emulate anything that i'm growing you know that's great or if you want to grow something else that's legal in your state which i don't think it's ever illegal to grow a plant so don't want to get on that soapbox today. But all right, I'll talk to you guys later. It's been Brian from P&B Homesteading, and see you next week. Bye.